Yo, what is up guys? We are back today for another live in the UU tier. Today we're using a team that was passed to us by our friend Dom. He's not here with us, unfortunately. He's going to be uh, standing out, so he's going to have to to watch this live later. I'm kidding, he's he's here with us. Hello, How's... hello, hello. I was waiting for I'm Lionel a ghost, Richie. A ghost, a ghost. I, I swear I was waiting for Lionel Richie. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just so used to you singing at the beginning of my lives. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your soul. All right, I'm done. Okay, I was I was waiting to see how long you would go for. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, we got this uh, really cool team. Um, Banded Pangoro uh, gets the Iron Fist boost from Hammer Arm. We just found that out. Uh, Master uh, Master Ogwai. Is this like a play Kung on Fu Panda, dude? Is this like a play on the word Mogwai? No, you never seen Kung Fu Panda, the no. turtle dude? No, no, I've never seen the movie, no. Oh my gosh, you have to watch it. Those yeah. moves are actually pretty sweet. I guess I do. Yo, this, uh, this is a full, uh, like a basically offensive Mega Aggron. This is awesome. Yo, max attack? Whoa. I actually went for this to be Spadef, the last Spadef. So should I take off the attack? <laughs> uh, I think I had like 128 EVs in it after I edited the team and then 132 in Spadef with careful nature. That yeah, makes sense. All right. Uh, what's Avalanche for? Um, Avalanche is for... Uh, good question. That's Scary Salamence that's no longer in the tier. <laughs> True. We can probably change that to, uh... Thunder Wave? Like, Roar or something. Thunder Ooh, Thunder Wave is actually pretty nice, yeah. It's nice. Thunder Wave, uh, supports Sylveon, so... Master, yeah. uh, Master Shifu. Oh, Mas Oh, I like these nicknames. Okay, now I'm starting to understand. This it. is oh. Hazard Second, so it used to be Roar. Uh, it used to be Heavy Slam, Avalanche Roar, just so I could hit like Crobat and stuff a little bit harder when it switches uh, right, in right. and punish it. Yeah, you got a Choice Scarf Kiram, so it's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, he's got a, a Focus Sash Frost Lass over here. Snow Why Snow Cloak? Isn't Curse Body better? Uh, yeah. It I made this team really fast when I made it. I see. <laughs> okay. Uh, Charcoal Entei, which I really like. It bluffs the uh, the band on low rolls. Mm -hmm. uh, then we got Choice Spec Sylveon, Choice Scarf. Yeah, this is a solid team. Let's hop into it. Cool, you cool, you want to cool. grab the first one since you know how to use the team? Show me the yeah, way. Sure. <laughs> Teach me. It's taking a little while to find one. Yeah, I mean it's what is it? 10 p.m. Yeah. Let's check this out. How many people are playing you? You. You didn't know you was taking a while to find for me. Yeah, yeah, even myself. And I'm not that high ranked in my uh, ladder tour account, so that's kind of weird. Am I recording uh, my system audio? System audio? I think I am. I should be, because it always, it always, uh, yeah, it always brings it in. So. All right, we got one. We're good. This, seems, this looks familiar. Didn't maybe Joey use this or something? Hmm. Says so the Tenacru had Dragon Celebi looks really familiar to me. I don't know. The Steelix is kind of throwing it off. Don't know what that thing's doing here. Yeah, um, I think I, I'm good to lead with, uh, well, Frostless, yeah. Frostless is okay, I just feared the Tentacruel lead. Well, I can, um, pretty much stall out, not stall out Tentacruel, but I can just, like, one not 1v1 it either. Uh, I basically just keep icy winning it and keep going for Destiny Bond and getting up spikes because he can't spin on me, and he's pretty much forced to switch, and then I can, uh, punish him next time he comes in. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, you can lead with it. It's uh, solid. I actually get stuck with that matchup quite often. Huh. Yeah, it's one of the prime spinners in the tier. That and Dawn Fan Fortress. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fortress is actually probably the most annoying thing for this team to deal with. So, uh, I feel like uh, I see one's probably the play here. Even if he uh, U turns, if he goes into some. Oh my gosh, Lola, stop! Right when you're recording, every time, huh? Every freaking time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's not bad. Uh, it's just if he U-turns, then he's more than likely what? scarfed, and he's gonna hit you first anyway. So you might as well get up a spike. That's the way I yeah, see it. Yeah, everything's faster. Yeah. yeah. Plus that U-turn does nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Good old David. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing here? What are we doing? We got a Steelix. It's probably the play here. Yeah, I would taunt too. Even if he uh, heavy slams. Yeah, better. we still get that spike. Yeah, prevent the rocks. All right, so yeah. That's Destiny nice. Bond would have actually been really nice here. Oh yeah, for sure. But I can I can risk that. Um, Poe will not be able to Oko it, but I need to get damage. I think uh, Steelix is probably the best play here. I can't prevent rocks, unfortunately, and I don't have hazard removal. If but uh, If only we had a Steelix. Yeah. 
<laughs> you just said Steelix is the best player. I mean, uh, Agron. <laughs> I it's like the same thing in my head. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, what does Poe actually do here? Not really that much. I'd rather just get this big damage off on him. Yeah, I guess he gets mock punched and moon blasted and you turned on and thrown into the trash, etc. Yeah. Um. Like I'm tempted to say knock off here. And make a play early, but mm, I feel like he just get rocks up. Like he knows Zelix is bulky as crap, so he knows nothing I do is really gonna knock him out in one hit. That's true. Wow. Or not. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, that's uh, that kind of looks like a two hit KO with a good roll. Never yeah. mind, that did 42. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. Oh, every the Pangoro always gets burned. Oh my gosh, yeah, man. yeah, it really does. You don't have a spin blocker on this team other than uh, Frostless. Frostless, yeah. Uh, I played the beginning of this pretty badly. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I think Kirim can still pull it back. Kirim plus Sylveon. Should be able to pull it off. Um, Ooh, top kick spikes. That's not good. Oh, nice crit. Yep. Nice. Well, it didn't matter. It was still the same roll. Uh, well, you got a low roll on. You see that twenty percent there up there? True. Still didn't matter. Yeah. So uh, yeah. you're getting knocked out no matter what. I don't know why yeah, you mock punched. He's life orb. Like. <laughs> um. I could just go Sylvie on here. He still has the Steelix though. I guess it's your only player. Oh. Yeah. Since he is life orb, how much speed do you have on Sylveon? Oh, only 180. 180. Yeah, they run a lot of speed now. Um, oh, really? Yeah. No, but I think you're okay. You should probably just go into it anyway. Uh, I could HP fire predicting the Celix. I think Hyper Voice does more. Uh, no, it's about the same. Oh. Is it worth it though? Because what if nah. he goes floor just? And if he stays in. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna go at. Oh, excuse me, Agron here, I guess. Yeah, Agron's. Uh, you don't resist the hit right now, but yeah, I guess that's the play. Mm. You don't really have a choice. <laughs> you need to keep this. It's a shame you got oh, up yeah, to the top. Yeah, I figured he was going for rocks. Okay, that's good. I can get up my own rocks, but they don't really help me too terribly much. I'm just going to go for Earthquake here. Yeah. Get some damage off on this thing. That's okay. That's for Roar. Oh. Uh oh. Unfortunate. Uh, well, that is I a free guess. ice beam. Yeah. It is a free ice beam. Floor just is definitely coming in. Part of me also clicked Flash Cannon, <laughs> but uh, it's not really going to do too big of a difference. Nice. Good thing. Good thing you didn't click it. Yeah. He still doesn't know what set we are because ice beam kills regardless of specs or not. Mm hmm. Goes into this. Lock here. Um, uh, you want to go hard Sylveon? Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to do that. Yeah. If he predicts a poison jab, props to him. Yeah. But I didn't think he could afford to do that. And now he doesn't have a switch in the hyper voice at all. What I would do, because he knows... Too late. It's okay. Um, oh, damn. Okay. Uh, I would predict the protect and just go hard aggro. Honestly. That's the play. Okay, nice. glass is fine. Oh, too. That nice crit did crit. A lot. That's okay. He knows that if he loses his uh, Conkeldur, he just loses to um, to Mega Agron. Mm -hmm. So. Heavy Slam won't do too much to Conk, though. No. You want to just get up rocks to yeah. ensure the kill on Floor just the next time it comes in on a Hyper Voice? Yeah. That's nice. Um, you can't really switch out. I would actually just say. Heavy Slam, it's Stab, that's base 100 here. Is it really? Yeah, yeah I could ultimate yeah. Thunder Thunderwave him. But, I mean, I, I, it lets me get off the second hit, but he has Mock Punch anyway. And Life Orb Drain Punch won't knock me out from here. But you also give yourself a better chance of getting that second hit off because of full paras. True. That's not bad. Mm. Plus, I don't think Mock... I'll live a Mock. Yeah, yeah I'll live a Mock. Yeah, that's good. All right, so heavy slam away. Unless he crits me or whatever. Yeah, that's the only way. And if he doesn't, then he has to take two rounds of life orb plus a heavy slam. Oh, he's just going for drain. That's a smart play. play on his part. Yeah. Okay, so Sylveon comes in for its pretty much last stand here. Yep. Um. Yep. 
Does Kirim outspeed Scarf Tie Dragon? No, not if he's timid. Damn. Oh, nice. Sweet. All right, I so mean, we don't get a second hit off because of uh, High Dragon, but. Yeah. Or even Celebi. Yeah, Celebi's the play. Probably just gonna U turn here. Mm hmm. Doesn't really matter. He takes two rounds of rocks if he does. Mm hmm. I would just attack him. Oh my gosh, what is what? he doing? How to choke a game away. Hello? Real, man. Um, and I can just go high dragon here and then try to clean up with... Uh, yeah, Kirim, just fire off ice beams and then try to I e mean, speed Kirim, sweep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he might have sucker, which would suck. <laughs> Literally. No. No, he doesn't. Nice. It's probably uh, Swords Dance Baton Pass for Conkelder. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. See, I thought I've seen this team before because that sounds really familiar. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's hope he's modest. <laughs> yeah, no. Nope. Tragic. But that's actually okay. He's okay. definitely within probably even sacred fire range, but I'll probably flare blitz to be safe. E uh no, you but can't afford can taking the extra you can't afford taking the extra damage. You have to uh yeah. Yeah. That's good. But Draco Meter is probably gonna take us out for sure. That's if he hits. <laughs> yeah. Because this true, is Pokemon. True, true. Um yeah. I think. C speed, I guess. No, Stone Edge. Oh, wow, we went for Dark Pulse. And we might actually live the. Uh, Do we? Oh. Well, we live on one, but we're not going to be able to kill with E speed. Damn, uh, man. With a crit, we might. True. Uh, ah, we just needed that one little do. crit. Yeah. All right, let me see if I can pilot this team a little bit differently. I should have played Frostlass a little bit better. If I had gotten rid of Steelix that early, it would have been a lot easier to win that. Yeah. All right, this guy is extremely Kiram weak. Like yeah. super Kiram weak. Like, like what, whatever Kirim doesn't die to Ice Beam dies to Earth Power. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um. I like Agron here as a lead. Probably just you turn here and you can. Uh, I I'm, guess. I'm more than likely flamethrower. Turn one. You want a T wave or get up rocks or head? I'd snare. rather get up rocks, honestly. He's yeah, gonna focus. That's fine. He's life worm. Uh, he's probably just gonna boom here. Uh, well, either way, I think this is my play. <laughs> okay. I was lucky. Yeah, but very lucky. Um, you can just icy wind here. Well, yeah. uh, I think actually, uh, wow. Nice. Please land. I didn't expect him to sack that. Nice. All right, cool. Um, you can't spin on me. All you can do is attack me with a Scald, right? No. You can Ooh. Toxic Spike. That's fine. We're gonna go for another D-Bond. Yeah, nice. there we go. Alright, cool. Has to stay up. Spinner's out, but we have to deal with Toxic Spikes again. That's my only issue. Um, spikes would've been really nice for Ready Steel, too. Yeah. Uh, I think um, Poe's probably fine here. Yeah, I he don't... Speed still be on. Yeah, and I didn't think and he was Brooke going to... shouldn't still... be able to Oko you, no. unless he's banded. Well, he's Intimidate, so we, I don't think... Well, we can definitely still Oko him. Do I predict the Sylveon and go for a gunk shot? Um. Nah, we can still afford nah. to play it safer right now. Yeah. Oh okay. my gosh. Banded superpower. That's unfortunate. That was like the best way to get rid of Ready Steel, barring maybe Entei. Um, you could do it. Mm, Sylveon's a switch in Kyrim, unfortunately. You could go your own Sylveon. Yeah. But then Ready Steel's a switch. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it's. it's... What do we really need? Well, Agon. I'm probably take one hit from Sylveon. Yeah. So I think this is definitely the play. Do we HP fire here? No. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a double. There we go. That's all right. Um, the seismic toss is more than likely coming. I think you probably just, get up rocks. I'm just gonna EQ here. Yeah. That actually did solid damage. That did a very good amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not even mad about that. The bomb is still yep, figured. That's fine. What is this thing gonna do to me? Mega evolve and Blizzard? Focus Blast or Blizzard, I guess. I don't know. Uh I'm just gonna heavy slam. Doesn't matter yeah. at this point. Oh wow. we lived, but we're dead He's, to hail. He is probably special. Yeah. Special bias mixed. So um, unfortunately, Entei is adamant. 
So I fear the crook outspeeding us. I, mm -hmm. I Ski Kiram wins if we. It either beats Registeel and. Crook? If, yeah. It can't beat all three, but Kiram's a really nice one con here. Sylveon puts a dent in anything barring Registeel. I think I need to keep Sylveon to prevent his crook from just spamming Crunch. Yeah, and we can come back with Kiram to beat Crook whenever we want. Alright, so I'm going Entei here. Nice. You can just, I'd say Flare Blitz here just to get maximum damage. Because you don't want to risk Sacred Fire missing because then we have a Sylveon in front of us that we can't touch. Right. Granted, we will have a Hyper Voice, but that's a lot of damage and like lost momentum. Yeah. And Flare Blitz probably kills. Oh. He's this. No switch ins. Alright, now I'm Sacred Firing. Wow. No. Uh, he's just gonna protect here, right? Uh, probably. Nothing I can really do about that. I'm just gonna flare blitz in case he doesn't. All right. Let's see. Flare blitz should probably do like 58. Around 60. 60 yeah. I still think that sacred firing might be the better play. To get the burn. Yeah. Oh really? Come on. Alright, at least I still live one round of poison. It's pretty irritating though. Yeah. Alright. Wow. Nice Ooh, crit. Ooh, justice, justice, Sweet. justice, justice. Hyper Voice is gonna kill us, however... He's uh, probably within range of our own Hyper Voice, maybe. Yeah, I think so too. We lost our way to beat Ready Steel though. Yes and no, yes and no, it, depend it depends on his coverage. Oh, wow. Dude. Hmm. I don't think he has Iron Head. That'd be a weird. Yeah. Get seismic. Wait a minute. Ooh, and we kill, I believe. Unless we get like a really low roll. Nice. Then Crick's gonna come back and Sylveon did a lot of health, so. That's why I'm swapping. I have to. He's one for Earthquake probably. Wow, that did that much. That's insane. Yeah, that's GG. <laughs> There's nothing I can do there. I had to bank on him going for a weaker move. Alright, grab another one. We're only at 17 minutes. We can probably do two more. Oh, I'm already searching for a battle in this format. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I just got too. <clears throat> Alright. So, the team so far not looking so hot. Uh, I see a couple of flaws. First of all, toxic spikes. <laughs> yeah, you drop for this team. Yeah, I should have um, I should have definitely taunted the Tentacruel. Because he couldn't spin anyway, so that didn't really matter if he knocked me out or not. Yeah. Yeah, that would have uh, definitely helped us out. Uh, okay, this is definitely a much more manageable team. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just going to lead Frostless again. Uh, his, at best, he's leading Cobalion. like Darm or, Corbett, or Cobalion. Yeah. Um... I think I can just Icy Wind here, probably. You want to Icy Wind? Yeah, in case he's Scarfed and tries to just go for the kill here. Okay. That works. And then if he goes for U-Turn, whatever comes out, like, if he brings Crobat out, then I'll outspeed it. That's true. After the fact. Yep. Straight Fire so Punch. Isn't deep sashed. Ooh. Disabled, so we get a uh, little struggle yeah, here. Yeah, he's in struggle, so you could probably just Icy Wind again. Mm -hmm. Sure. Catch the crowbat. Struggle is normal type move, right? Yeah. It can't hit you. Umbreon. Oh, of course. Uh, I can taunt or Destiny Bond. Probably Destiny Bond's a better play here. Yeah. I would say so too. Okay. Well, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's. Talk about it doing absolutely easy. nothing. You want a side shock here? Um. I'm expecting crowbat to come in. Yeah. Really am. I mean, he could just I'm protect. I'm afraid of Drapion coming in, though. He could just protect. That's the problem. All nice. right, that's a better play. Toxic right, is so fine. You just want to toxic everything. Cool. Uh, you want to go into Entei here? Um. Because expecting him to. One of two I things think... happens: either he goes in a Crobat or he protects. True. I don't think he wishes here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Probably awesome. Probably U-turn. 
So that's an easy sacred fire right sacred there. Sacred fire, yeah. Yeah. I hope he's not banded, that would suck. Okay, that's fine. Nice damage. Um, fortunately, that is not going to burn Are we him. in Brave Bird range? Um, I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. Not from a defensive variant like this. They don't even carry Brave Bird usually. I don't want to blitz because I don't want to risk the Sacred Fire in this thing. <laughs> You're really scared of that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, because it happens to me all the time when I need it not to. Yeah. Alright, he roosts. Nice. No burn. No that burn. was a humongous roll difference. Yeah, forward. it was. What the heck? There's a low to high. You I'll can... just Sacred Fire again. Yeah, until you get the burn. Should be now. Yep. There we go. And I can just e speed and kill now. Yep. He probably thinks I'm banded too. Mm-hmm. Because he hasn't seen an item. Boom, gone. Sweet. Very nice. Um, I'm assuming Darm is going to come in here to Earthquake you. Yep. Um, Want to go Kiram? Yeah. Kiram takes it. Uh, Hopefully he doesn't have Rock Slide. Yeah. I think your play after that is probably just to Ice Beam. Is he Rock Slide? No, he's Earthquake. Okay, he's good. EQ. We already know he's Scarfed, which I, I think free to you speed tie. You speed tie him. Um, yeah, you could you again. could drop a Draco. Yeah. I mean, his best switch in is probably Cobalion. Yeah. Exactly. Or uh, Umbreon, but Umbreon's at like twenty one percent Earth Power to KO it. He wouldn't bring in Chestnut. I think Earth Power is actually the play here. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Shuka? Nope. Sweet. Sweet. He'll probably go. I don't know if he's expecting this to be Scarf. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, yeah, you want to prevent rocks, if anything. Who cares about yeah, Chestnut coming in? He's probably okay. bringing in. They're going to go for spikes or something. I, I don't think I can bring an aggro and get up rocks now. Wait a minute. I don't see leftovers. Ooh, sub belly drum. Yeah. Should I hyper voice like I'm right now? Yeah, you think go, yeah, I would I would. I would. Okay, that's oh. fine. We don't care about that. What's your switch into hyper voice now, bud? Zero. <laughs> there are none. <laughs> Something dies. What is this set? No lefties? Is it Rocky Helmet, I guess? That would make sense. Yeah, that's a possibility. But what is like who, what do you hit with that? Mancha, I guess? Yeah. Makes sense. Not that, not that you don't have a crowbat or anything, but anyway. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess Stone Edge. Yeah, it makes sense. It's definitely for me and Show. Uh, yeah, you don't need this anymore, do you? No, not really. Yeah. Um, I don't really have a better switch in, so I'll just stay in Hyper Voice. Yep. Also, I think he left his Cobalion in E Speed range. Sweet. Oh, nice. Amazing. Uh, I you want me to calc that? Uh, say choice band did well. The choice band 12%. Um, it has to do at least 12% with the e speed. Uh, let's say oh, you you offensive pivots e speed 10 to 12. <laughs> Ooh, so it's a roll, yeah. Uh, he went for EQ, right? And he scarfed. Yeah. You want to just go aggron and get mm. up your rocks, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. And no uh, way to get rid of him either, so yeah. that's awesome. Chestnut's probably his best switch here. Kieran wins. Yep. And he just let his Darm die plus his Cobalion to E speed now. I'm gonna T wave here. Oh yeah, <laughs> yellow magic. In a moment. <laughs> yellow magic. And uh, then I would say go into Pangoro. Yeah. Or does it uh, do anything? Let's see, let's see, probably Drain Punch, I guess. Spike, Spiky Shield, Leech Seed, Drain Punch. Yeah, that makes sense. His Drain Punch and... will knock you out, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, okay. He's gonna Spiky Shield again here, I would think. But I don't think it's worth switching out. I can just Ice Punch. Yeah, that's pretty free. That's fine. I think just let him take you out. Wow, why did I think Spiky Shield was King Shield? I thought your attack oh. was going to drop for a second. I was like... <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, he might get full parrot on the uh, on the Spiky. 
Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, there nice. we go. Nice prediction. Actually. Yeah, I called it. I'm, I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you called the rocky helmet though. That was nice. True. Darm is dead. Yeah. Uh, Drapion is at 88 percent. I mean, yeah, 88 percent. Uh, um, please don't be sub acupressure. <laughs> oh, that set is like awful. Yeah. Okay, he didn't bring it in, so that's pretty much a good game. He'll definitely be in. Oh, he's in E speed range already. You but after just... a close combat, he'd eventually be in it too. Just finish it off with Kirim. Give me the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've used Kirim yet in the thumbnail, so. Oh, he's a life orb. Wow. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Okay. Earth power, earth power. It might be uh, the AV. That's a little yeah. possibility. Or Scarf. The Kirim's yeah, really bulky. Sorry, I don't Scarf. think anything he goes for will knock me out. I don't think Earth Power is going to knock him out, that's the thing. The Draco. Eh. That's 180 versus one... What Vers is it? Like 90 something? No, it's it's 185 versus... Uh, no, it's 195 versus 180. Earth Power is weaker just slightly. But it also mm -hmm. doesn't miss. Earth Power. Wow, that did AV. nothing. It's really a baby. Alright, now it's a speed tie. Yeah. Scary. Oh, I thought he's max speed. If he took yeah, it that well. Yeah, I was pretty well. sure he had HP. In this yeah, <laughs> there's no way. There we go. All right, nice. Finally able to get pick up a, a win with that team. Um, as long as we don't run into toxic spikes, we're good. That's pretty much yeah, the general. Yeah, finish goal. it off with a with a bang. Oh, nice, nice and bliss, mandibuzz crap. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, like this is the kind of game where I wish Kirim wasn't scarfed. So I got to swap up my moves. Um, yeah. Then again, it's nice for Sceptile. Uh, I think, um, perhaps... I want to lead... I want to lead with Entei. Because, like, it has the best lead Yeah, that's matchup. a fine lead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can burn the Mandibuzz. Uh, if he leads... Like, Torn is the only bad lead for us. Alternatively, uh, Aggron with... You could T-Wave right off the bat. He doesn't... Well, I guess he has Blissey as a Cleric. But I don't know if it would have Heal Bell. Yeah. No, but it, just, it can always switch into to Thunder Wave, that's the thing. I want to keep that in the back for later. True. It's something that can actually take Lucario's close combat, surprisingly, and it's a super effective move. Mm-hmm. So. Alright, he does lead Torn. Um, I... Do I... <laughs> I don't know, do I just Sacred Fire? Yeah, uh, um, I kind of want to say Stone Edge and Sacred Fire can both miss, and it's essentially with hacks the same percentage. Yeah. If it can miss, it can miss. That's Murphy's law, I think. Yeah. It's just I don't want to go for Blitz because of the possibility of Rocky Helmet Mandibuzz in the back. Mhm. Mm so. I and, think Sacred Fire plus E Speed is, I guess, a little bit safer. Yeah. Ooh. And nice that's miss. that's uh that's Hurricane for you. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Tornadus is super frail, man. Yeah. Probably thinks we're banded. Yeah. That's nice. He doesn't really have anything to go out into, though. Yeah, like literally nothing. <laughs> that was like his one Maybe response. Maybe Mandibuzz. Yeah. Entei actually wrecks this guy's team. Yeah. Just runs through it. I don't want Entei on another thumbnail, though. Come on. <laughs> All right, Mandibuzz. Nice. Let's put a stop to this. Um, Fire than Edge? Yeah. For sure. Potentially get the burn. Nice. nice. Uh, foul play does absolutely nothing. surprisingly a little amount. Yeah, because of the burn. Um, you want right. to edge here? No, I'm going into um, Agron? Sylveon. So, oh, true. And I'm doubling back into Entei after. <laughs> Something like Take that. Take a double into Pangoro. That works too, yeah. Since Blissey is probably his response. Mm -hmm. yep. He can't stay in here. Let's go Pan. And what's to switch into a hammer arm at all? <sighs> yeah, absolutely nothing. It probably does double the amount that Sacred Fire did. Mm hmm. To be honest, with Iron Fist and everything. I'm actually gonna calc that Pangoro. Yeah, gross. You can knock off here then. A lot of attacker, Adamant, Choice Ban, Iron Fist, Hammer Arm versus Mandibuzz. Um, let's say physically defensive. Does 52 min. You want. Yeah, I think knock off. Uh, I'm scared of Lucario. Yeah, Lucario can actually easily sweep this team. Well, we have... We'd have to not have rocks up and then revenge with uh, Frostless. Yeah. This is a scary situation. 
Hammer my arm, I guess, is the middle ground play. It's still gonna do a lot. It won't Oko. Knockoff might not even Oko, to be honest. He does go Mandy. That's nice. Sweet. I don't think he has Brave Bird. He's probably just gonna roost all. The problem is if he roosts, he loses his typing. He can't. True. That's very true. Yeah. So again, we're just free to hammer arm. Yeah. It'll do don't double. Miss. Don't miss Pangoro. Yeah. Come through for us, Poe. And he can't even switch out on this. Like he's, mm -mm. he's literally locked in here. Like, I guess he could go Metagross if it's a very defensive variant, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. even... Pangoro's coverage is awesome. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Fighting Dark is insane. He does have Brave Bird, but that's okay. We take absolutely nothing from that thanks to... Okay. Nice and Great. miss. Uh, I can just hammer him again, though. Yeah. I do not want to give this thing a free turn. I'm sure he has Foul Play and Brave Bird. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit strange for a Mandibuzz, actually. Yeah. I guess he noticed that this was a huge threat to him and he wanted to get rid of it. Mm-hmm. So... You think this guy would set up rocks on our face? I want to keep this for Bliss Blissy. Yeah, that's the big thing that I want to You can go uh, aggro on it. He really shouldn't be able to touch it unless he goes for EQ. I could also go into Frostlass. Yeah, and get up a spike. Yeah. Because I'm thinking if he has like some kind of fighting coverage, he won't hit us. Voila. Ooh. <laughs> nice. That worked out better than I expected. For real. He uh, might be banded. I don't see. Well, I don't know. AV also has hammer arm. I don't think he'd be AV with a Blissey, though. And especially since that, like, again, that's his rock setter, so it's probably his banded. Yeah, for sure. Blissey literally Ooh, can't nope. do anything to us. <laughs> Free spikes. Yep. For days. You have to switch out. You can't stay in here. I will literally PP stall you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll make this live 45 minutes if you want this, man. Huge chest. Don't do this, bro. Just switch out. Just switch out. Yeah, or that. That works too. <laughs> nice. All right, that's going to wrap it up for the live, guys. If you did enjoy this uh, co op live, uh, be sure to hit that like button down below. Check out Dom. His link will be in the description down below as always. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. All right. Thanks for having me. Peace, guys. No problem.